Yeah, history is in a bad way for the Republicans today, and in particular for California Congressman and House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who became the first House member vying to be Speaker in 100 years, who failed to win enough support in the first round. He's now lost two more, and this just in, the House has adjourned until noon tomorrow. Kevin McCarthy has earned the speakership of the People's House. Kevin McCarthy in the political fight of his life, but a fight that has caused chaos on day one of the 118th Congress. Well, it's particularly embarrassing for Kevin McCarthy um, that, that he couldn't uh, do what needed to be done behind the scenes to, um, to secure enough uh, votes to win the first ballot. Although, I'm not surprised. McCarthy needing 218 votes to win the speakership and with 222 Republicans in the newly elected House, he could only afford to lose four votes. In the first two rounds, 19 Republicans defected, led by a group of hardcore never McCarthy members of the party. If you want to drain the swamp, you cannot put the biggest alligator in charge of the exercise. They certainly are holding the party hostage. They're holding the House hostage. Uh, they're holding the country hostage in a lot of ways. That's because the new members of Congress cannot be sworn in until after a new speaker is elected. Among them, Congresswoman-elect Dealey Ramirez from the new 3rd District and Jonathan Jackson from the 1st Congressional District, who called this day chaotic but still exciting. I am very excited about that. I'm very excited about the freshman class on the Democratic side. I'm excited about some of the colleagues I've reached out to on the Republican side. So. Look forward to getting past this hurdle and getting on to the heavy lifting. McCarthy vowing to continue holding votes until he wins, meaning things could be messy and the voting could take time. Political science professors tell their students all the time it's designed to be messy. That's one of the ways that uh, minority interests are protected uh, by having multiple checks and balances and different rules. When the third round of voting wrapped up today, the anti-McCarthy votes had gone up 1 to 20. The last time the vote for House Speaker went multiple votes, it took nine ballots. That was way back in 1923, and that took several days. Again, the House has adjourned until tomorrow at noon, so this will take at least two days to elect the Speaker. Rob? Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.